Situated deep inside the Essex countryside lies Greenstead Church, or the Church of St Andrew, Greenstead Juxta Onga. It's a place of pilgrimage, and from here you can walk the path of St Peter's Way and finally complete your journey at St Peter on the Wall in Bradwell on Sea. The church is an ancient place of worship which has the distinction of being the oldest wooden church in the world. Indeed, it is also the oldest wooden building in Europe with a nave dating back to 998 and 1063 AD. It is believed that beneath the floor of this church, the remains of a much older church and timbers dating back to 845 AD, when Saint Said arrived here in East Anglia to begin his conversion of the East Saxon people. The split oak tree trunks that form the nave are the only remaining parts of the original Saxon structure that are visible. There is also a small amount of flint within the chancel wall, which dates back to the Norman era, showing that the church was still in use after the Norman conquest of 1066. A later addition to the church, the existing chancel was constructed in and around 1500 AD. The tower was built over 100 years later during the Stuart period. In the 19th century, the church went through fairly substantial restoration by the Victorians. This included adding brickwork to the structure and replacing the dormer windows along with a host of other alterations. The inside of his church has a somewhat dark and gloomy ambience due to only a trickle of light breaking through the tiny windows. On the northwest side of the church is a leper's squint. It's built into the Saxon woodwork. This would have allowed lepers who were not allowed into the church to receive a blessing from the priest with holy water. The church also has an incredible link to the first patron saint of England, long before Saint George held the princely position. Saint Edmund of East Anglia was Britain's first patron saint. His body was held here at Greenstead Church for one night on his way to his final resting place in Bury St Edmunds. Outside the church and adjacent to the doorway lies the grave of a 12th century crusader. The fact that his grave is made of solid stone suggests that he was a highly decorated soldier. Just down here, everyone, we have the Crusader's grave from the 12th century. That's pretty interesting. Now this grave is made of solid stone. Look at those really old timbers just there. One of the great things about British weather, everybody. You 
can't control the rain. Now, I'm not sure if his church is actually open, but we will be taking a little look shortly. But first, we're going to just have a wander around the outside of this incredible church. And there we go, we've got what's called a leather squint just here. Now this is what is believed that the lepers would have received a blessing from the priest from inside the actual church. Okay, so we're gonna head inside Grinstead Church now and take a little look at the incredible sights which are behind this door. Now, to keep the church nice and clean and tidy, they have kindly asked us to put some plastic covers over our shoes, which is a good idea because today is a very rainy day. So I've got them on my, my feet now and I'll show you. These are just coming along, you need to put some plastic covers over your shoes. Stunning inside this incredible church. You can see all the you can see all of the ornate woodwork on the beams just above me and I'll show everyone that now. It's an interesting holy water font just there made of wood. And you can see actually from this side you can actually see that leper squint. 
So now he's seeing it from the other side. So you can actually see how small that was. So the wood inside, the, the actual church, dates back just after the conquest of England. But beneath the actual floor, it's believed the timbers are much older, which it is believed apparently makes this church the oldest wooden church in the world, and indeed the oldest in Europe. Some of, the, some of these outer timbers have been tested and dated and that's how they know the date from just after that Norman conquest. But yeah, beneath, beneath our feet, apparently, the timbers are at least 200 years older than that, to around 845 AD. We have a wonderful little model here of Greenster Church, everybody. A big, big thank you for joining me, and until next time, stay safe, keep well, and bye for now. Bye everybody.